Hey, how's it going, Larry? My name's Kyle with Millsap Digital Marketing here at Scottsdale. I wanted to reach out and make you a video that will bring you and your business more value. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can personally optimize your website and drive in more traffic. So I have three tips I'd like to share with you. My first tip is content and keywords. Now, what Google cares about is not how awesome your website looks, but what kind of content is on your page. Google typically wants to see a lot of content, and the websites with the most content are going to be the ones with the most authority on the topic. Google wants to give its users the best experience possible by ensuring it has everything that they need. That's why I recommend you have at least 1,500 words on your page. When I go into your page and I push Command A and Command C to copy everything, take it over here to wordcounter.net, paste it in there, and you have 216 words on your home page. Your, your competition, SC Sharp Electric, they have 835 words on their page. So along with that content, you need to have buyer intent keywords. Buyer intent keywords are the words people are typing into the Google, Google search bar. We have a tool that we use called Ares, and it buys data from Google. And it allows me to search for these buyer intent keywords. So I typed in electrician Tucson, and I just picked three small examples of the numerous keywords that you should have within the content. I have electrician Tucson, Tucson electrician, electrician Tucson, Arizona. Just between these three keywords here, they're being searched 800 times a month. So if I go into your website, I push command F, I bring up a search bar where I can search for words on the page. I typed in electrician Tucson, and it is nowhere to be found on your page. So your competitor, SC Sharp, they have it right here, right in front of center on their home page in their header. So Google's not finding you for that particular keyword, and that's being searched 250 times a month. So my next tip for you is backlinks. Backlinks are links throughout the web that when clicked on will bring the user back to your website. Backlinks are very important. It's essentially having a popularity contest, and the ones with the most backlinks wins. Google's looking at other sites that are pointing at you, vouching for you, saying, hey, they're actually a really trustworthy site and they offer a great service. But not all backlinks are created equal. Google wants to see backlinks that are relevant to you, such as other electrical companies or home improvement sites that have links linking back to your website. You don't want to have backlinks coming from, say, Pizza Hut, because, well, you're not a food company. So the more relevant, the better. We also use ARFs to check for the backlinks. And I do want to mention, Eris, it is a paid tool. Uh, you can Google Backlink Checker or Keyword Finder, and you can find all the all the free tools that you need to be able to do this. So as of right now, your URL rating is a 13, and that's how powerful your site is. The domain rating is 0.6, and it's how trustworthy your site is. You want these two numbers to close together as possible. You want to shoot for a ratio of 1, and you want those numbers to continually grow. As of right now, you have zero organic traffic. So you have 16 referring domains, and these 16 referring domains is giving you a total of 44 backlinks. So your competition, SC Sharp, here's a URL rating of 19. His, his site, that's how powerful it is. The domain rating at 1.4, that's the trust factor. He has an organic traffic of 274 people onto his site a month. And if, you, if half of that turns into a phone call, that's 137 phone calls a month. If 10% of that even turns into a job, which most likely more will, that's 14 extra jobs a month. At this moment, he has 57 referring domains, giving him a total of 255 backlinks. And that would be super easy for you to beat them out and get you ranked number one organically on the Google search. So how do you get these backlinks? You go into the referring domains, and each and every one of these websites has a link linking people back to his website. And you can do the same. So all you have to do is go into these websites, some, you just create a profile and you add your website in that way. Others, you're going to have to go to the contact us and the owner might hit you back with a small fee to be able to advertise your website on their page. So my last tip for you, it's my favorite tip, and that's to get to the number one spot on the Google Map Pack. And that's this right here. Like I said, in my opinion, it's the best spot to be in. And if you're anything like me and you're trying, trying a service that you've never used before, Let's say I'm new to Tucson and I need an electrician. I'm going to type in electrician's Tucson. This is going to be the very first thing that pops up. So I'm going to go straight to it. You see Mr. Election of Tucson, he's number one. He has 192 reviews with the 4.5 stars. To me, it just seems like the most trustworthy. I mean, it's a no-brainer. He would be one of the first people I'd have to come out and bid on a job. So how do you get to this number one spot? Well, 
you need more citations that they have. And a citation is your business name, your business address, and your business phone number listed in more directories throughout the web than your competition has. Uh, some, some examples of a directory is Yelp, Better Business Bureau, White Pages, Yellow Pages, even Facebook's considered a directory nowadays. So I hope this was helpful for you. Just a quick recap. To blow your competition out of the water, get more content on your own page with your buyer intent keywords and your competition does. Then get all the backlinks your, your competitors have and get them linking back to you. And finally, add your business name, your business address, and your business phone number all spelled the same all across the internet more directories than your competition has. If you follow these three tips, you will get more people coming onto your website, which in turn will result to more phone calls, which will allow you to bid out on more jobs. So I hope, so you're probably wondering what to do now. Well, you can take this information that I gave you and you can apply it yourself. And I totally encourage you to do that. It does take some time to do. So I would advise you to get started on it sooner than later. Just because it's going to take time to get your website to rank to the top. So if you need any help or you have any questions, you are more than welcome to reach out to me. My phone number is 480-605-0508. Thanks for watching, Larry.